Hi, I want to welcome you back to our blog. Uh, I had a couple of questions the other day about uh, why is our company plateauing or why have we lost momentum? And I had another question that said, why do, uh, what is it that we need to do in order to get back to growth? And so I wanted to go back over that a little bit today. And I wanted to go back and start again with our formula for great success, which is do plus B equals great success. And if you remember, do is about operations. That's about how you do everything in your business. The plus is about leadership. And the B is about who you are and what you're about. And uh, so we're going to go into that a little bit more today. So the question is, why do companies lose momentum? What is it about it that makes them plateau? And here's a couple of things. First off, there's a lot of excuses out there. Oh, the economy's bad, and there's a lot of variety of reasons why sales are off and things are bad. But if we use excuses, we don't address the problem. So here's what the real issues begin to get to. Number one, as, as you become more successful and develop growth, you also have more complexity in your business. And with more complexity, you tend to take more resources away from the sales activities and the, the activities that cause growth, and you put them into internal activities in order to build your company so that you can support your growth. Well, you're sharing resources there. The third thing is that uh, leadership tends to not keep up. They don't tend to grow and develop, and if the leadership isn't growing, then the company isn't growing. And the fourth thing is that uh, companies tend to let their cultures evolve instead of proactively designing them. So let's take a look at how this might look on a whiteboard. We have here what I call the business railroad track. And this rail is about do, this rail is about be, and this rail is the, or the ties are the uh, leadership. Now again, if you have strong do, then you have a good business and things are going well for you. But if your track is short on the B side, your train tends to derail on the side of the short track. And so that's why companies start to spend a lot more time trying to control their employees. Uh, they spend a lot more time in policy making. Bureaucracy tends to build, just incurs a lot more overhead. The leadership are the railroad ties, those are the things that hold the tracks together. Also, when the railroad ties are closely together, the track can bend easier, which makes it more uh, agile. Ability to, uh, to bend with the economy or whatever is coming their way. But if your railroad track is sparse, if your, if your railroad ties are sparse, then you don't have that ability to be agile. And that can cause problems. So this is Primarily what we're talking about in today's article, I'd ask you to uh, read it and give me some feedback, and uh, I look forward to hearing your responses for the next time. Thank you very much.